Hi, in today's tutorial, we're going to look at how to send your Windows logs to a LogLogic LMI appliance using LogLogic Universal Collector. UC software helps you to collect logs from supported log sources and forwards them to either an LMI appliance or a syslog server using UDP, TCP, or proprietary protocol called ULDP for monitoring purposes. For example, if there is a web server and you install UC on it, this allows you to collect and send the logs from this web server to LogLogic LMI appliance. This can be done using standard syslog or using ULDP for monitoring these logs. These communications can also be encrypted for security purposes. UCs can be used both in collector mode and agent mode. Collector mode supports up to 100 plus sources with a single instance. UCs can majorly collect four types of data, syslog, Windows event logs, real-time file pools, and remote file pools. We will be exploring how to configure the UC to collect and send Windows event logs from both local server and remote server in this tutorial. To download UC, go to edelivery.tipco.com website and search for Universal Collector. Choose the appropriate version and click the download button. We covered the installation process in another video. For the purposes of this video, I'll be using a server on which I already have a UC installed. Let's start configuring it to collect the Windows logs and send them to an LMI appliance. Click New and select Windows Event Logs option. Before we can start collecting, UC will ask you for a forwarding connection to be created. In this case, I'll be sending the logs to an LMI appliance Choosing that will redirect me to a forwarding connection page where we can create a new forwarder. The address field lets you give an IP address of your destination appliance for these logs. I have a test LMI running on the following IP address. Let's test the connection to ensure it works. If the network is OK, UC reports back with a successful connection message. Now click Apply and wait for the changes to be applied. Once it's done, you're redirected to a collection rule page. First, let's look at how to collect logs from a host on which UC is installed. So I select localhost option. Under Windows Event Log section, you have an option to choose if you simply want to collect all the data or just some. Click the edit button. This gives you the option to pick and choose what journals you want UC to collect from. Once you select the journals, click OK and test the connection. It's successful. So UC is ready to collect and send this data downstream. Click Apply and wait for the changes to apply. Now go to Manage Configuration and select Monitor Active Configuration. This screen shows you states and stats of UC collection and forwarding rules that you create. Page 1 shows you a summary, page 2 shows you the status, and page 5 shows you the real-time stats of these collection and forwarding rules. As you can see, UC has started to collect logs from this source. Pressing the L key shows you forwarding stats, and the numbers indicate the logs are now sent to the LMI. Let's go back and create a remote connection. Click New and select Windows Event Log again. Since there is only one forwarding rule, this field gets auto-populated with that. This time, choose the Remote Host option, and in the Host Name field, provide either an IP or an FQDN of the source you want to collect from. Under Credentials tab, you can choose to let UC use the Windows Service account to collect from this remote server, or provide your own domain, username, and password that has the right privileges to collect the data from that host. Once this is done, click Test Connection. As it came back OK, you see it's ready to collect from this remote host. Click Apply and wait for the changes to apply. In the monitor screen, under page 5, you should start to see the number of logs collected and forwarded increase. Page 2 shows you the status and it shows active. Now log into your LMI appliance and you should be able to search for these logs. This marks the end of this tutorial. 
For more resources, please visit the following pages.